Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about local values in Terraform. So why we should use local values in Terraform and what's the purpose of local values. So let's start. So Terraform locals are named values which can be assigned and used in your code. So simple but we can understand it's similar kind of key value pair things. So a local value assign a name to an expression so you can use the name multiple times within a module instead of repeating the expression. So suppose you have uh, one expression or one function basically which you want to use in multiple resource blocking. So instead of copying that expression in all the resource block what you can do you can create a locals and you can specify a particular name for that particular expression and that name basically you can use in your code. So we will see in demo then you will be more clear. When you use local in the code since you are reducing duplication of the same value you can also increase the readability of the code. So that's the basically advantage of using locals because we are you, you, uh, we are using uh, sorry we are reducing the duplication of code duplication lines of code because in all the five blocks we are not going to copy and paste same expression we are just referring the locals to that particular resource block how does it differ from terraform variables so same things we can do also with variable also but what's the difference between our local values and variables so the first difference can be pointed towards the scope so our locals is only accessible within the local module what the terraform variable which can be scoped globally another thing to note is that the locals in terraform does not change its value once assigned and a variable value can be manipulated by the expression so suppose if you can see in this particular example i have created a local blocks and here i have specified k and value so once you specify the service underscore name is equal to forum then you cannot uh, modify this value like basically as soon as you like suppose you want some kind of user input that thing you cannot do with local as soon as you specified the value that value will be ex executed with terraform apply so it will not change at the run time basically so that's how basically uh, we define the locals block <clears throat> so we will understand with the help of this image suppose I have created a locals and one IT text I have created name is department is equal to IT. So department is the key and IT is the value. And another tag I have created HR underscore text. And another same the key here is department and value is HR. So these tags, both the text I want to specify in both of the EC2 instance. So here what I am doing, I have defined a text here and I have just referenced the locals here. So locals dot IT underscore text. So this will be for IT department and similarly for uh, this particular EC2 instance, the local dot HR dot text. So as soon as we run, so this particular EC2 instance will be tagged as a IT department, and this particular resource block will be tagged as a department is equal to HR. So I hope it's cleared like how we have to use locals, and there are some important pointers for local values. So local values can be helpful to avoid repeating the same values or expression multi times in a configuration so which we already discussed. If overused they can also make a configuration hard to read by future maintainers by hiding the actual value used. So this thing basically you have to keep in mind like where exactly you have to use this particular locals. Use local values only in <coughs> modernization in situation where a single value or result is used in many places and the value is likely to be changed in the future. So like for uh, in simple word if I say so some kind of temporary value stored we, for that purpose we can use locals. Each local blocks can have as many locals as needed and there can any number of locals block within a module. These are the important pointers which you have to keep in mind when you are using locals in your Terraform configuration. So Terraform is not limited for like uh, tagging and all. It can also use as an expression which we have already discussed. So, so for example, I have created this local. Uh, this is the produce, like local blocks and here what we are doing this is the instance id and this is the concat function basically which we are using so if you are if you have to use this particular function in uh, other resource block as well then what you can do you can simply 
uh, specify locals dot instance underscore IDs instead of copy paying copy paying copy paste entire uh, argument or function you can simply pass locals dot instance underscore IDs so let's move to demo so I have a simple terraform configuration file so here what I am doing I am creating a EC2 instance two EC2 instance basically I am going to create here so you can see I have specified the locals and the values like it tags equal to department underscore it so same screenshot basically which, which we have shown in the presentation so same locals I have specified here what there is one difference in terms of AMI ID so it's not like with locals we can also use variables also so here what I am doing these are the tags which I have specified here and this is the instance is equal to war dot AMI ID so it means we can use variable also along with locals so for this instance ID AMI ID what I have specified here locals dot instance and this variable basically I have declared in the variable.tf file so this is the variable block I have declared here and the value of this particular AMI ID I have specified in the terraform.tf var files so let me go back to my locals.tf files and the similarly uh, in for this particular resource block also I have specified instance type is equal to t2 okay so let me copy this local.instance from here to here as well okay it's already there sorry so now what I will do I will try to run so I will run terraform apply command and we will see how these tags are created as part of uh, these EC2 instances so for this particular instance tt.micro the tag should be uh, department is equal to IT and for this particular EC2 instance tag should be uh, department is equal to HR so terraform apply command is completed let me go to my browser So now we have two instance, one is for t2.micro, another for t2.small. So if I'll check t2.micro and I'll go to tags. So here we can see department is equal to i2, uh, sorry, it. And if I'll go back to my BS code, so this instance type is t2. Dot, oh, let me recheck or oh, t2.micro. So for t2.micro, we have a specified department is equal to it. And for HR, we have, oh sorry, uh, for t 2 small, we have department is equal to HR. So let's verify uh, the second one also. So here we have department is equal to HR. So it's not limited to uh, use locals with only tagging purpose. You can use combination of locals and variables also, and you can also use locals with expressions. So you don't need to specify same thing multiple times so we are basically here reducing the duplication of code so i hope uh, you got the, like how basically locus works so thank you so much see you next video